Um, my name is Molly Shack, and I'm the band director here at Richmond Community Schools. A uh, couple housekeeping things. We do have some programs sitting on the tables right when you're walking in. If you guys want to grab some programs, if you didn't grab one, feel free to get up and take one. Um, the restrooms are, I think the, is that the boys' bathroom is on that side? And the girls' bathroom is on that side. Uh, if you need to use the restroom at any time, feel free. The songs we're playing are generally very short. So we do ask that you wait until between pieces of music to get up and go um, if you need to leave for any reason. Uh, the reason for that is you might be standing up right in front of somebody taking pictures or a video of you know, their child performing. So we just want to wait until in between pieces. We have a couple of soloists and duets and little ensembles happening this evening. Um, this is the first experience for the students, so we really want to support them. All of the uh, all of what they're doing. So whether they play a little solo or they're playing with a big ensemble, so feel free to give thunderous applause as they're going through uh, this experience, their first band concert. So I'm really excited tonight. Um, I want to introduce uh, Mrs. Maples. She's in the back there. Miss Maples, you want to wave for us? So Miss Maples is joining us in January. She is teaming here in the school in uh, the beginning classroom. And she came in and we were, we're getting ready for a band concert. So she's been really supportive of the students and helping out where she can. We're really looking forward to utilizing her expertise in music uh, to help uh, all these kids learn even more in depth um, throughout the rest of the school year. So we're gonna get started, we're gonna open up the curtain and they're really excited to play for you. Um, this is an informants. So I'm going to be talking in between some of the pieces, the things to listen for, and, and you can also follow along in your program. There's little lines of music you can help see what the students have learned over time. Many students went from nothing to playing Beethoven today. So it, it's been an amazing 0 to 60 experience for them. So without further ado, further ado this is the 6th grade beginning band. This was our first day with instruments. Now on that day with instruments, you guys went to rental night, got the instruments, the books and everything. We had a really quick crash course on how to put the instruments together and make one sound. And whatever sound came out on that instrument is the sound that we took. And I record this on the first day, but we would just like to share that experience with you. This is what the group sounded like on their first day with instruments. We also have to learn how to separate the notes so it's not just one long blast like a, like a freighter going by, the, you know, so, uh, or the train, I should say, here in Richmond, right, the train. So we have to learn to separate the notes. So here, after a little bit of practice, it sounds like this.
and then that got boring. So we had to add some notes. So we're changing it up a little bit, okay? So not only the students, again, in, in your program you can see, we have to put the air through the instrument, make the shape with our mouth, we have to follow along, we gotta track is what we call it, just like reading. You gotta read these notes and then push down fingers or move slides or the percussion are hitting certain spots on the instrument. And when we did this, uh, it sounded more like music. So this is number eight in our book. but we took away the counting and the note names in their music. We call this big kid music. So it looks like something a professional might play. So it then eventually sounds like this. Now they know five notes at this point, okay? So we're going to learn half notes now, and we also played a song that we recognized and we got really excited. Thank you. 
Brandon and Tessa are playing Old McDonald. decision. Woodwinds and brass. So you're going to hear the woodwinds. These are all of our woodwinds. And you're going to hear the brass. 
Okay? And then you're going to hear the percussion. All right? And you're going to hear these instruments featured throughout the, this song. Thank you. 
Tess is going to play for us a song called Hakdama. Jackson's going to play Old McDonald at a farm. you know, and they're the only ones playing it. Um, Frer Jaca leads to that. So in Frer Jaca, you're going to hear us play the song once together, and then we're going to hear it in two separate parts, uh, played over top of each other. It's called Round. It sometimes sounds a little messy because there's just so much going on at the same time, but it really leads to that independent uh, playing ability. So this is Frer Jaca. Thank you. 
which means it's, how many measures is high adventure? 42, so up to this point, the longest song we played was like 12 bars or something like that, which they're over in 15 seconds. So high adventure is much longer. Um, when I talked about the different instruments playing and adding color to the song, um, you're gonna hear a lot more of that independence of part. And this is what we, when we think being in band, this is what you think of. And it is a team effort. Every student on the stage is really important. And they're just like a sports team, you know, that you're, you know, that, that defensive lineman is holding, you know, his position. And, and, and that, uh, like, center on the basketball team is able to play that position to its full. So the same idea is in the band, um, that every student is able to play their part um, at, at the best that they can. So this is a good example of that high adventure. And we'd like to welcome our seventh grade percussionist up just filling in in the back playing cymbals, Lane Muller. She's joining us today.
Um, also, Ms. Morello, sitting back there, thank you very much for your support of the arts here in Richmond. So we're going to leave you with, oh, and if there's any teachers out there, do we have any sixth grade teachers sitting out there? Hello, Ms. Pritchett. And, um, and all of the sixth grade teachers uh, that have to uh, put up with these kids every day, right? <laughs> Oh, they're great. It's fun. So we're going to leave you with Beethoven's Nine. Um, your student will meet you back out here in the cafeteria after they put their instruments away. They can leave all their instruments here overnight if you wish. We're not really going to play until Monday, I think. So um, if you do want to take the instruments home over the weekend, you can do that. Uh, and I do need them to help me just move the stands back into the band room as well. So they'll meet you out here shortly. This is Beethoven's Nine.